Hey everybody, Ann here. I'm drinking my coffee on the go because I just dropped off Papa at the vet. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. I mean, it's not a big deal, right? I dropped him off and then I went to Tractor Supply to get some propane and some chicken feed. So I'm all stocked up there. It feels weird not having Papa on this property, so... I think I'm going to go look for some mushrooms. There haven't been a whole lot of mushrooms lately. Uh, just because it's been so hot and so dry. But it has been raining a whole lot lately. Um, I think the chanterelle season is over with. Um, so I didn't get really much. Oh, here. I see some more of these miniature puffball mushrooms. Yeah. And one thing good is, after the minis come up, then the big ones start showing up. So there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to leave them here, because like I said the other day, I would need too many of them to be able to cook with. This is that big tree, that fallen tree, that I used to find oyster mushrooms on quite a bit. No oyster mushrooms, but there's some little polypore type mushrooms down there. Oh, there's some pretty little ones down here. Yeah, those are just little tiny inkies, but sometimes... Oh, look! See that down there? That's the remnants of an oyster. Oh, yeah, that's that's been in there for a while, so... <sighs> it's so disappointing, you know what I mean? I used to find so many mushrooms all the time. But the weather's been weird, so nope, no oysters. I am kind of bummed, but, you know, it is what it is. That's okay. I found a ton of mushrooms in the past, so maybe next year. I'm going to keep looking, though. Sometimes I find them on the embankment of this little stream somewhere. <laughs> I like kind of walking down here. It, it just kind of looks cool. No water in it. It's just so dry. Look at, look at how deep that's gotten. Oh, that is pretty cool. Oh, wow. That has gotten really deep because it comes down here and it just pours into there. That's awesome. I wish I could get it somehow to retain some of that water. That would be another cool frog pond. Heck. I could dig it out a little bit more. Maybe put some fish in it. Who knows? Here we have the beautiful Miss Patsy. Getting a bite to eat and Roxy. Hi, pretty girls. Right there is where I found that big chicken mushroom. I could not believe it. Yep, nothing, nothing on it today except for some, looks like that's turkey tail down there. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'm just gonna leave it. Nothing else. Well, I've spent about the last 30 minutes looking for mushrooms. Nothing I can eat. Absolutely nothing I can eat. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna probably turn around and go back. Well, you guys, it just goes to show you, never give up, never give up. I was just about ready to stop looking for mushrooms and then I saw this. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's a huge, huge chicken mushroom, 100% positive. Oh my gosh, it is huge. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bag. It was kind of hard to cut it. I didn't want to just pull it out because if you leave some of it in the ground, it might grow back at a later date. Some of it came off in pieces. But look how, I mean, just this piece right here alone. Now I'm not gonna be able to use all of this, I don't think. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Holy crap, you guys. So I'm gonna take this home and get it all cleaned up and see how much of it I can actually use. Oh Lord, have mercy. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so huge. You guys, this is amazing. I wanted to see how much it weighed, so I piled it up on top of this scale. 3 pounds, 5.7 ounces. 
Oh my gosh, there's so much food! Now, I won't be able to eat all of that. I've got to take it outside and clean it up and discard any things that I don't feel is edible. This is what I ended up with. I had to trim quite a bit back. The pieces that looked like this, uh, it just too embedded the dirt and grime. And if the back side looked like this, I mean, those are little buggy holes. Yeah, so I didn't bother with stuff like this. There was only really, really just these. But all of that other stuff is either stem or too tough or stuff that I cut away. So most of that mushroom is going to go back out in the woods. And I'm going to give these a nice rinse and uh, chop them up some more and cook them up in a dish. I don't know if I'm going to cook it today, but that's an awful lot. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh this again and just see how much actually I got out of the three plus pounds of chicken mushroom. I put it in some water. I'm going to let all the buggies soak out. I think I got most of them out anyhow. But one thing I wanted to point out, this is not your average run-of-the-mill chicken mushroom. This is a white chicken mushroom. It's like Leptoporus cincinnatus or something like that. Um, if you look on the pore surface where the spores come out, it's white. And I'll throw a picture up there of uh, the last one I found and the pore surface was yellow. But this is clearly white and these are supposed to be even more de delicious than the other ones. So I'm going to just go through this one more time, make sure I've got all the stuff out that I don't want. And uh, then I'll weigh it and see how much I got. All cleaned up for the most part. There's a couple more pieces I need to get off. But it came to 1 pound 9.5 ounces. So that's quite a bit still. Lots and lots of food. So I'm going to do something with the bigger pieces and then something else with the smaller pieces. I think for now I'm just going to let them kind of dry off a little bit and then put them back in a uh, clean paper bag and put them in the ice chest until I can figure it out. I decided to just take a few of the small pieces, put some bacon bits in there with some ghee, and just kind of cook it up this way. I've already tasted one piece, and it is really, really delicious. Mm-mm-mm. That stuff is so good. It is so good. Mmm. Tender. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to pickle quite a bit of it. Uh, I'm looking at some recipes, so I think I'm going to pickle some of it because I can't eat all this in like a couple of days. Anyhow, I got to eat my lunch. I got to go pick up Papa. So I'll show you Papa in the next video. Uh, they already called me and told me he, he did fine, but he's got to wear one of those cone thingies. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go over. Anyhow, so, uh, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.